Hello, I'm Jane Cravens, and I'm going to tell you about a really great opportunity for nonprofits, NGOs, charities, schools, anywhere in the world. And it's going to sound too good to be true, but I promise you, it's real. The opportunity is called the Accessibility Internet Rally, or AIR. If your nonprofit, NGO, charity, school, anywhere in the world has a website right now and you want to make it much better, one that will make your organization more attractive to donors and volunteers and more helpful to your clients and other audiences, or if you don't have a website and you want a really great one, one that welcomes everyone, then this AIR event is for you. The Accessibility Internet Rally is an annual hackathon, and I've been involved with it since the 1990s. These AIR events are hosted by a nonprofit organization based in the USA called Nobility. That's K-N-O-W-B-I-L-I-T-Y, Nobility. So here's why you should be interested in digital inclusion and a website that welcomes everyone. There are people that would love to visit your website and donate money to your program. They would love to volunteer, to be a client, to be a supporter, to attend an event, or just to know more about you and your program. But they can't. They can't do any of those things because your website is not accessible to them. Websites have to be built in a particular way to be accessible to people with disabilities or people using assistive technologies. Just like a person in a wheelchair can't enter a building if every entrance has stairs, or a person who is blind can't read the posters you've put up all over town, many websites have obstacles in their design that don't allow certain people to be able to access them. People with disabilities want to donate, volunteer, and otherwise support and participate in causes they care about or that they need. They may love the arts, animals, the environment, enjoy beautiful parks, fun outdoor activities, support education, want to help those in need. They may want serious social problems to be addressed and want to be involved in those causes as employees, as donors, as volunteers, or as clients. But if your organization's website isn't accessible to them, you leave them out. And that means you leave out potential donors, volunteers, clients, ideas, talent, and more. Consider this. Would you construct a building for your organization that someone using a wheelchair could not enter? Would your company have an event at a club that excluded certain people from attending? Would you produce a brochure with a color scheme that rendered it unreadable, putting dark gray, green text on a light green background? Or have a brochure with text so tiny that even with reading glasses, people couldn't read it? Most everyone would reply to those questions with a resounding no. And yet, people with disabilities are often locked out of websites because their needs are not considered as the sites are designed and built. I'll give you an example of what this can feel like. Let's say I'm not a sighted user, and I come to your website, and I know what I'm looking for, and I know it's somewhere on your site, but I suspect it's not on your homepage. So just like someone who can see, I decide to scan the links on the homepage to find what I'm looking for. So I use my special tool that is going to read me the links on your homepage. But all your links are called Read More. That's what I'm going to hear over and over when I scan the page with my special tool that's going to read me the links. It's going to say, read more, read more, read more, over and over again. That's really annoying and it doesn't help me. How am I supposed to find what I'm looking for? If instead you had used descriptive links, when you had the statement, how to volunteer on your home page, that was a link to more information on how to volunteer, I would have been able to find that. Your website would have been accessible to me. Or let's say I have limited mobility of my hands and I cannot hold down two buttons at once on my keyboard. That means if your website has a menu and that menu requires me to hold down two keys in order to make a choice, I can't. And I can't simply because of the way you designed your website. There are lots of ways to make a website more accessible to everyone, both people with disabilities and and people using mobile technologies like smartphones or a tablet. And that's where this really awesome event by Nobility comes in, the Accessibility Internet Rally. 
This is a hackathon where nonprofits, schools, charities, and other mission based organizations get a fully accessible website from a team of volunteers who are web designers and have been trained in accessible web design. By participating, nonprofits also learn about digital inclusion to attract more donors, more volunteers, and better serve the public. So, what's the catch? What's the catch for nonprofits, NGOs, and charities, and schools that might want to participate in AIR? Well, one catch might be you do have to pay a participation fee. As of 2019, when I'm recording this video, that fee is $100. But you do not pay this participation fee at the time of your registration. When you register, a nobility staff person, probably me, reviews your information ask you some more questions via phone or email, and then decides if you're appropriate to participate. And we don't accept all applications. We may decide that your website, as it is now, is just too big for a team to redesign as a part of this hackathon, because the hackathon is only about five or six weeks. We may decide that you just don't have enough information to put together a really robust website for this competition. But if your application is accepted, we'll let you know and we'll start taking you through the co consulting process so you'll be ready to work with your volunteer expert web design team and then we will bill you. Another catch might be that you do have to spend time with your design team. You have to prepare the materials so that they have the information that they need to build your website and that takes real time. The design team can't do this without you. Now, as a part of this process, myself or someone else from Nobility will also provide you with training in accessible web design basics. Training that is especially designed to be understood by non-web designers, such as myself, so that you can continue to emphasize the importance of accessible web design in all of your future online activities. The result of your participation will be a lot of new awareness about digital inclusion, and a modern, well-designed website that is accessible to everyone, including people with disabilities, which you can choose to use to replace your current website or adapt however you like. The result will also be a demonstrated commitment on your part to digital inclusion and accessibility, one that can be very attractive to current and potential supporters. And I also think a result will be a different way of thinking at your organization one that translates offline as well. You're going to start thinking more and more about what inclusion really looks like in all of your activities. Now note that all of this consulting that Nobility provides you, not even including the resulting website that you get for participating in the Accessibility Internet Rally, is valued at more than $1,000. Nobility is able to offer this opportunity to artists and nonprofits for just a $100 participation fee. You get all this awareness training plus an accessible website for that. It's really quite a deal. All you have to do right now is go to our website. It's air-rallies.org. That's A-I-R-R-A-L-L-I-E s.org. Go to the website, read the information, check the rally dates. The dates for participation aren't the same every year. That's why I'm not naming them here in this video, so this video can last longer than just a few months. If an event is coming up, register as soon as possible. If you've missed the registration deadline by a few days, send us an email. We might still be able to work something out. If you've missed the registration deadline by several days, then put a notice on your calendar for a reminder to participate next year. It'll be about the same time. Again, you don't have to pay the participation fee when you register. You do that only after we get some additional information from you and we both agree that you want to participate. And I really want you to participate. Go to the AIR website, look around, read the material, let's get going. And if you have any questions, contact us through the website. We'll respond quickly. And it may even be me. Okay, that's it. Bye.